Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Suzanne Menzel, and together with a wonderful group of collaborators, we are organizing a new workshop for undergraduate women, uh, students in computer science at institutions all around Indiana and around Indiana, to come here for a three-day workshop in the fall. Uh, but before I get into that, uh, since we're thinking about our history, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about um, my odyssey. It started around 2001. I started thinking about this problem. And I started working with some wonderful people, the indefeasible Katie Seek. She was a student at this, at this point, and she created, almost single-handedly, our Women in Computing uh, group. And uh, the cornerstone of that group was an outreach program where um, went into high schools, the students went into high schools, and we described the research that's going on here and to try to bring uh, more people into the queue. Uh, that led to workshops where we brought in teachers, we brought in students from other uh, universities to learn about outreach and uh, to create their own programs. Um, and um, this was all taking place in the interface between you know, young people, high schoolers, and uh, getting computer scientists here at the university. And, this is great work and it has to be done and uh, went on for a decade or more. Uh, do it all again in a heartbeat. But I've come to realize that it's not really the answer. If we want to make progress in this arena, we have to think about the women who are here, uh, the wonderful students that we have, and develop them to be our future leaders. We want people to be the new KDC, the new K Connolly, and the new Valkyrie Savages. And we have these students and we just have to help them reach their full potential. So they need to go into research careers, and that means they need to go into graduate school. So I became aware of this um, initiative that came out of Carnegie Mellon. Uh, it's the brainchild of Carol Fries. She's been doing it for 10 years. Over the course of, of that time, there's been ten, uh, five iterations. First was in 2007. We sent one student. Uh, then last year, we sent six students. The first student we sent was Sarah Bose. She was a junior here at this time. Uh, CS major, just a wonderful student. Um, she came back fully energized to do research. She knew that's what her passion was. She later went and earned her PhD at CNU, and now <coughs> she's a scientist at Google Research. And this is just last year, one of our students, again, a junior, one of our future leaders, um, uh, Cassidy Wachowski. And um, so uh, I want to tell you about my inspiration for doing this. Um, I'm inspired every day by Gloria Townsend. She was one of our alums. Um, she invented this idea of um, taking the Grace Hopper celebration, this massive, thousands of people international conference, and bring it to the regional model. And we did the first one. We worked with Kate, uh, Katie and um, Beth Bailey, and we brought it here to Indiana. And this year alone, there's been 30 iterations of this. Uh, all around the world. So bringing something big that um, is working at a, a large scale and bringing it into uh, regions is really important. And as part of the things that we did with our outreach program, one year we brought in students from historically black colleges and universities, and it was a great event, and I really want to get back and think about that population. And of course, Sarah, inspired by her, totally. Um, so, uh, the, at the end of this workshop, the students have a full eight minutes to present uh, what they do. And so this is just an example of what Cassidy did. Uh, she, her group um, analyzed Kickstarter, uh, linguistics, and tried to figure out which ones would be um, mo most persuasive. And then they state their conclusion at the end. It's really a wonderful event. Uh, but it's huge at CMU. There's over 120 students, and it's really gotten uh, too big. Uh, some of the teams are 10 or 12 students. And so in order to make this um, really impactful on the students, we'd like to uh, bring it to different regions. And we will be the first one to do that. Uh, these people couldn't do it without them. Uh, David, Katie, and Lamar, they are key organizers here. Um, so this is um, fully funded by Google and Oracle. These are great companies that are taking a long view. They just don't want to snap up the talent right out of undergraduate school. They want these people to enter um, leadership roles. And uh, are, we are open for applications. Here's our website. Please encourage your students to apply. Uh, we already have about 30 applications, although it's only been open for a few days. I want to give a shout out to two of our students that went to our CF. These are our future leaders, researchers. 
Alyssa and Paulette, wonderful for helping us. Um, so our recruitment emphasis is um, students from large and small institutions all around Indiana. And the reason is because we hope that the travel will be less expensive and there's a greater chance that they will have ongoing mentoring relationships uh, going forward. And we also like to reach uh, students who don't ordinarily think about going on to research careers, know nothing about it, maybe they don't have um, researchers at their school. So students from HBCUs, first generation, low income, and people with disabilities, uh, these will be people coming from outside Indiana, typically far outside Indiana. And so we have travel stipends, first year Google, and also access to Indiana. There are really two goals for this workshop. The first is to tell them about research, but a lot of times you tell people, uh, we actually want them to do research. Uh, we want to support them thinking about going forward to graduate school, um, have, uh, give them information about the application process and what it means uh, and how it works. Uh, so during the uh, workshop, the three days, there's 12 hours, we work them pretty hard, uh, where they're in their team, small groups, six, seven students, and wonderful leaders, the luminaries in the field, our faculty, and also people from industry. Uh, we have wonderful keynote, and uh, we'll show them our wonderful building and our lab space. Uh, just to give you an idea of some of the people who are involved, um, not just IU, but also other institutions. And if I could find an IU connection, I did. So uh, Sid Stan, he got his degree from us, uh, PhD, and Carlo was an undergraduate here. They'll be coming to lead, lead projects. Um, Sarah is, this is full circle. She was an undergraduate here. She went to our CS. She helped out at our CS when she was a student at CMU. And now she's coming back to lead one of our projects, completing the circle. Um, we also have uh, people from Google and Oracle. And the really, we're kind of at the forefront here. We don't know how to do this. Uh, it's never really these intensive, compressed research experiences haven't been tried very often. So we leverage the advice of the CMU leaders uh, because we have industry folks who do not necessarily come in contact with undergraduates too frequently. We have Jay Duncan, who's going to be our teaching coach to help them understand that population. And we, of course, will involve our graduate students and graduate students that I've known and now at other places. Uh, and as much as possible, uh, leading judge and poster session, being on the panels, things like that. Uh, just a few examples of the projects, and these are really tremendous, and I encourage you to look at our website to see uh, just the, the breadth. I mean, we see from this whole event just how wonderful the research is that's being done here, and um, the people who um, are going to volunteer their time and efforts in order to do this. Uh, so, Fred is doing big algorithms, and then Katie's going to do something with fabrication and laser cutting, and um, Donald and and David together are going to bring sound and vision, really exciting things that people will be able to do. And then there's, of course, the motivational speakers um, and, you know, just people who are just fabulous. So, Kay is going to open it up and tell uh, what, you know, give, give her view of what research is. We have our students. Maggie is uh, graduated last year. She's in her first year at CMU. You see how that works, that they go on and they do a PhD the host institution. Uh, and Haley is finishing her degree here and going off to Facebook. So we'll have a student talk, someone just beginning their uh, doctoral studies and someone finishing up so they can see the pathway. And then we have this terrific um, keynote speaker, Dr. Tindet Gabriel. She is the founder of Black and AI. She does research in vision and AI and uh, bias in machine learning databases. And she's going to deliver our keynote. So we are open for business. Uh, we've already had about 30 applications. We're asking the, the students to tell us a lot of information about themselves and where they see themselves in the future. Charles is going to be doing our, running our analysis. And um, so there, it's very interesting just to read these applications and, and, and see what they think research is. And then we'll be able to compare this afterwards and see what they think research is. So thank you very much. Tell your students we're open for business and thanks so much.